in Rome. About 15,000 of these pieces are taken off the streets every day. The city pays one euro to take them off. Singapore has solved the problem radically since 1992. It is against the law to chew gum there. People who do so could be fined a lot. This was explained by the fact that firstly it can be a carrier of microbes, secondly they distract students in class, and thirdly, chewing gum can get between the doors of high-speed trains and cause them to jam, which can lead to human casualties. But in 2004, the law was relaxed, and now sugar-free chewing gum can be bought in pharmacies, however, only by prescription. The three pieces of chewing gum in question were discovered by archaeologists back in the 1990s in Sweden at the site the habitat of primitive people of Husby Klev. The find consisted of three pieces of birch resin, and it was chewed. Traces of human teeth were clearly visible on all the fragments. The ancient Greeks chewed the bark of the mastic tree. The Indians chewed the bark of coniferous trees, and the Maya tribes chewed the chikal. Register and click on the bell. By itself, the presence of resin in the parking lot of the Middle Stone Age did not surprise archaeologists, because scientists know that thousands of years ago the ancestors of modern man actively used it as glue when performing various works. But the fact that it was also chewed came as a complete surprise to scientists. The pieces, which according to the researchers, turned out to be about 9,990 years old, looked, without a doubt, chewed, but this had to be confirmed by evidence. Scientists have managed to confirm that the teeth that left traces on the resin belong to a human. Scientists have even established that it was teenagers who used ancient chewing gum. The ancient Greeks chewed the resin of the mastic tree to freshen their breath and clean their mouth. The Maya used frozen heavier rubber juice for the same purpose, and the North American Indians chewed the resin of coniferous trees, which was evaporated over a campfire. In Siberia, large resin is still often chewed, at first it crumbles, but then, with long chewing, it gathers into a whole piece. It not only cleans teeth but also strengthens gums. Cherry, pine and spruce resin are also often chewed, but this requires very good and strong teeth. The scientists were able to compare the sequences of microbial DNA extracted from the resin surface with modern and ancient microbiomes of salivary glands. It turns out that a large number of bacteria are present in the resin, which usually accompany such a disease of the oral cavity as periodontitis. For example, one type of Streptococcus, Streptococcus anginosus, was found in chewing gum. In addition to gum diseases, adolescents who chewed this resin also suffered from caries, since Streptococcus sobrinus and Pariscardovia denticolans microorganisms were also found in the studied material indicators of tooth damage. Chewing mastic, as scientists call it, tells not only about dental diagnosis, but also about the diet of ancient ancestors. So, according to Dr. Emra Kerdek from Stockholm University, in addition to the bacteria associated with periodontitis known to modern scientists, the DNA of plants and animals that ancient people ate before they started using resin was found on chewing gum. In other words, since the descendants of modern Swedes had a habit of chewing resin after eating, its remnants fell on their teeth. So what if the Scandinavians of the Mesolithic era? According to genetic studies, people of that era ate hazelnuts, apples and preferred brown trout, shellfish and red deer meat from animal food. And this suggests that they were actively and successfully engaged in hunting and fishing. Since ancient times, bee products have been another natural gum. Honeycomb lids are not easy to chew because they break in your mouth. But they are very useful because they have bee saliva honey and a little bee venom which bees use to close the honeycomb. Zabrus contains a high concentration of vitamins A, B, C, E, almost all the microelements necessary for humans, and a very rare type of fat secreted by bee glands. But the DNA of wild birds found in the resin mallards, crested ducks, and European robins, according to scientists, suggests that the Scandinavians of the Stone Age could not only feed on birds, but also grind their bones into tools with the help of teeth. The researchers were also surprised by the presence of DNA in the birch resin of several dog species, for example, red fox, wolf, and arctic fox. Scientists doubt that ancient people could have eaten these wild animals. Aspartame is a sweetener the substance was invented in 1965 and still arouses suspicion among doctors. When aspartame is broken down, the body makes two amino acids, asparagine and phenylalanine, and a very dangerous alcohol methanol. In certain concentrations, methanol is dangerous for pregnant women and affects the normal development of the fetus. In addition, methanol is converted into carcinogenic formaldehyde. Most likely, they were killed because of their beautiful and warm fur 
and hunters used their teeth when cutting skins and making primitive clothes. If we talk about traces of plants, they are also on chewing gum. For example, scientists now know that the ancestors of modern Swedes actively used mistletoe. For what? There are two versions here. It could be applied to arrowheads as a poisonous substance or used as medicine in the treatment of various ailments. In the Soviet Union before 1977, if you were seen with chewing gum, you could be imprisoned, as well as for drug possession. As summarized by Professor Anders Heatherstrom, the author of this study, published recently in the scientific journal Nature, DNA found on ancient gum gives science an idea of how a group of hunter-gatherers lived on the west coast of Scandinavia in those distant times. And it's amazing how informative a simple chewing gum can be even if it's just a piece of birch resin spat out by someone. Love is Gum is not just a game, but a comic about love and relationships that couples experience. There is even an insert where a girl stands near a tombstone. It was invented by an artist who threw love notes to her husband every morning.